Hi everyone, Donut here. It's your boy, Donut Pickle Taters, back with some more shootings. Today we're gonna talk about one of the most dangerous things to happen to police officers, ambushes. You never know when an ambush is gonna happen and you're never ever really prepared. If you recall, it was just a couple weeks ago when I did that breakdown of an ambush on those three police officers in Bristol, Connecticut. A drunk guy got kicked out of a bar by Bristol police and so the next day he grabbed an AR, got into the bushes across the street from his house, called police and waited for them to show up before firing more than 80 shots into their backs. Two officers were killed and the third flanked the dirt bag and finished him off with one shot. That's a police officer's worst nightmare right there, and the video that we're about to watch is kind of like that. But no cops die or get seriously hurt in this video, so we can just go ahead and make fun of the ambush idiot. He gets a little holy. But first, a word from our sponsor, GovX. Do you have a military, law enforcement, or first responder background? Then you might want to check out GovX. GovX is a website that offers exclusive deals for people with those backgrounds. And these deals are not from shitty <coughs> brands. Check this out. GovX offers discounts from brands like Vortex Optics, Under Armour, Oakley, Yeti, Bench made. You can get deals on kick-ass gear for any mission. You want to up your EDC game? Well, GovX has it. In addition to EDC, they have footwear, fitness, eyewear, apparel, audio, optics, outdoor, and travel gear. Like I said, military background, law enforcement background, first responder background. You can join GovX today and start getting those discounts. To start saving with GovX, just click the link in the pinned comment in the description below and use the code DONUT. That code's good for the rest of the month to get $20 off of any purchase over $50. Check GovX out today and thank you for your service. Let's do shootings. Let's ambush. November 15th, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma police got word that there is a man inside of a camper who has an out-of-state felony warrant. Like the ambush we just watched a second ago, three officers respond. A female officer is the first to approach the camper and calls out for Sammy. Sammy! The suspect's name is Timothy and the other officers are Cody and David. Who is Sammy? Huh? She told me to go in. It's her trailer. Oh, the trailer belongs to Sammy, and I'm guessing Sammy gave them permission to go inside. Is Sammy harboring a fugitive? Where's this criminal mastermind known as Sammy? Anyways, the female officer enters the trailer to look for Sammy and Felon Man. Sammy isn't home. She has her service pistol out. The second in the stack has a non-lethal shotgun and his service pistol out. You can tell it's non-lethal because of the orange pump and furniture. And the third officer has his AR ready to go. The female officer makes an attempt to clear the trailer and is followed by the two other officers. She spots what might be a plate carrier, oogles it for 30 seconds, then decides to finally clear the bathroom that her back is to after one of the officers says something. Sammy. Hey. Not yet, we're clearing the trailer. Look at that. You see that, right? What, the bag? Is that a bag or is that a vest? Who's a vest? Mm -hmm. Huh? Looks like there's no Sammy and no felon, or is there? The officer says to her partners, let's lift this bed up. You'll never guess what's under there. No, we need to lift this bed up. Cody, you got cover out there while we do this? Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Go, 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 go. The first two officers hightail it out of there while Big Brass Balls Officer Cody, who is covering them with his rifle, engages the threat as soon as his partners are clear. Go, 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 go. Well, one of the officers is clear, the one that went out the door and went right. Female officer, on the other hand, this part right here f***ing kills me. If you were paying attention to the female officer's body camera, you might have noticed she ran in front of the trailer. And I'll show you why this part f***ing kills me with my high-tech crime recreation software created especially for me by Homeland Security, the NSA, and Elon Musk. <laughs> I'm not addicted to vampire slayers. You're addicted to vampire slayers. Where's my software? Okay trailer we're looking at it from the side so officer cody he's got a very long torso he's got his long gun <laughs> officer cody's a giant bad guy he's a bit smaller than officer cody as you can see inside the bed he's got a gun too 
When the second male officer bailed, he went this way, out of the line of fire. The female officer ran out the door and took cover in front of the trailer. So does anyone else see a problem with this? Bad guy's shooting at Cody. Cody's shooting at bad guy. Hold on, let me just point this out right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Officer Cody with his rifle has no idea the female officer ran right into his line of fire. Thank God there wasn't any overpenetration into the female officer's head because that was a perfect angle for a blue on blue incident to happen. Anyways, due to shooting through the bed, so Officer Cody with the rifle says, not today you sneaky little scamp. He fires a couple shots and you hear the guy in the bed start making the off oh, I'm shot noises. Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. I believe he may have hit that guy at least once. You see the dude lift up the bed to peek through and Officer Cody just puts three more shots right into him. Shots fired, shots fired. The two other officers return to the camper and start asking Mattress Man very nicely to come out with his hands up, to which he replies by shooting at them some more. Because getting in a gunfight from a wooden coffin is a great idea. No one ever said old Timothy was a smart man. Come out with your hands up. Come out with your hands up. Come out with your hands up. Come out with your hands. He's still in there. He ain't happy. All right, let me point out another thing that kills me about this video. Let me reiterate also that hindsight is 2020. Of course, we critique these videos like this for a training aspect, not to shit on anyone. You, I mean, you guys can shit all you want in the comments, but I'm not shitting on anyone. I'm just pointing out some obvious tactical thingies in this. Tactical thingies. That's what we call them in the tactical world. So, the female officer pushes the second male officer out of his concealment into the line of fire. Guess what happens right about that time that he's out in the open? The officer retreats behind Officer Cody and says, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Oh, now it's your hand. <laughs> Fortunately for that officer who ran behind Officer Cody, he did not get shot, but he did catch some wood splinters in the face from the suspect's bullet. That means that the bullet did come close to him though. The female officer then tries to take command of the scene and tells Officer Cody to get out. Excuse me, what? He has a long gun covering the suspect. He even tells her, no, you guys go first. She's like, no, you go, I got you. We gotta get out. Timothy, can you come out with your hands up? Back out of the trailer. Back out of the trailer. You all go first. Go. Go. I got you. Go. Lock your injured. Go. Dude, don't let her behind you. All right. Well, whatever. The guy never got out from underneath that bed. SWAT eventually went in to recover his corpse. Just remember, kids, always have your parents check under your bed for felons with Glocks. Nothing is impossible. If only this were San Francisco and they had a killer robot to send in after him. Just kidding. Remember I made that video last week of the killer robots of San Francisco? Well, they went back and voted against it. You guys got to check out this councilwoman online. Cracking me up, boys. This council lady is like super proud of herself in San Francisco. She said, we just stopped the use of killer robots in San Francisco. Complete reversal from last week. Common sense prevailed. Okay, common sense, right? I said, what exactly did you think killer robots meant? She said, I voted against it last week as well and was asking myself the same thing. She doesn't even know what it means. <laughs> as I explained in my video, it wasn't like the robot from f***ing Robocop roaming the streets going after minorities. It was the bomb robot they used in Dallas to preserve human life and they only used it once and that was in 2016 and it was their last option to get rid of a mass shooter. The San Francisco bill said, yeah, the police can do that as a last, last resort and only if a high ranking official approves it. But this lady's like, killer robots? Oh my God, no. And then, and then on Twitter, she's like, I don't even know what killer robots means. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope that you're having a great week. And if you want to help support the channel, you can go over to Patreon where I have 18 episodes of Dawn After Dark now. Bunker Branding has some super sweet merch. Holidays are coming up. There's a bunch of sales on there. So make sure to get your friends some donut merch or Kentucky Ballistics merch or demo merch. Rep the Demolitia right here. DonutOperator.com. See everything I have. Until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.